Okay, hi everyone. Um, so this is gonna be my first. Uh, uh, sure, you want to start? Yeah. So sorry about that. This is gonna be my first uh, ever recorded video. Just recorded. Donovan and I are doing a challenge on Need for Speed. Uh, pretty much what we gotta do is we got a hundred thousand dollars in game dollars, of course, uh, to buy a car take that car and make it a drift car we'll hopefully depending how much you guys like this we might do more of these kind of videos um, pretty much we'll be rating the cars on five different criterias the look the ability on road and dirt the speed and overall presentation and uh, yeah Donovan's here too. visit his channel we'll be doing it all right here in one video I think maybe I don't know what do you think Donovan all in one video? Yeah, we can do it probably all one video. Okay. Well, this is not the car that I want to use at the moment. I still got 48,000. Plus, I'm probably not going to use that much. And you really want to do the mini coupe like I did, don't you? Maybe. That's what I did. I already made a mini coupe. <sighs> Which is ballin'. B -b -b ballin'. Okay. Cool. Dive into my garage. This car is slow as fuck. I want more drift angle, right? I don't know, it depends if you want to do my setup. My setup is, uh, everyone has their own personal setup. Is yours but more rear and then weaker? Mine is all rear and all weak. Max drift angle. Okay, because I know I like it like yours, just wait in the front. Yeah. Well, actually, for my Nissan, like my other Nissan, the, uh, my, uh, blue one, uh, I use it, I use all my weight in the front. This one, I'm probably going to do all the way in the back. That was a garbage drift. Okay, so since I got my car, I got to drive everywhere. Which reminds me, yep. where am I going? I am going to there. <laughs> Before we work on uh, visual, let's get that pain, bro. Uh, vanity items? What? Ooh. I have no vanity items. Haha. <laughs> so since we are, like, since I own, like, things like underglow and all that stuff, I can add that, right? That I own. I guess so. Because, I don't know. I don't know how much shit you own in that list. So. I don't own nothing, remember? Ah. Well, you have, like, suspension and stuff when the vehicle's off. So, visual. Performance. Car. I was looking at you know what? This yeah, guy's got a pretty good stock performance. So all these hoods are 1,575. Minus one, two fifty. Uh... <clears throat> and even if you buy it and change your mind afterwards, you gotta still stick with, like, the money, if that makes sense, like... Yeah, you gotta add it up if you change your mind and change your visual. 
Yeah. Nope. Front bumper. What? Why does the rocket bunny kit fucking take off the headlight? That's gay. I'm not doing any of that shit. What happens if you have money left over at the end? Oh no. You, 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 uh, you, no, no. If you could use it to spend it on other shit. So don't forget, we still need to buy engine upgrades, and those are like 29 grand a piece. Mm hmm. Yeah, I should buy those Rocket Bunny arch covers. They look pretty sexy, but also those look sexy. I want some that doesn't look bolted on though. Ooh, this is cheap and it looks actually cool. So, big way six fifty. Uh, sorry. Well, you know what? I can just cut that down. I guess. I was about to apologize for some that I guess I could just fix at the end. I'll go with these guys. Shit, I forgot I don't have no wheel customizations. bumper
Nice. <clears throat> now, time for the visual side of everything. Now then, how much do I got to spend on upgrades? $29,900. And I'm going with the price that I purchased uh, the vehicle from, if that makes sense, Donovan. So it's like I'm doing that vehicle, but I, you know what I'm saying. Tune-up shop.
Where'd I put my pencil here? So of course I do the math and I don't fucking do the thing with the thing. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Everyone with me now? Fuck, I'm an idiot. Seriously, where's my fucking pencil? Shit, don't have enough for that. Oh, no, don't even have enough for that. Yeah, I don't have enough for anything else, so I'm done. <coughs> I have an extra four. Uh, thousand four hundred dollars. Thumbnail. Mmm, splooge. Okay, so let's just quickly go over the cars. Mine is a. Uh, fuck. Okay, Donovan goes. I didn't. I didn't pick. I. I. Mine is at least a fucking uh, Nissan Type X. So I know that much for sure. Uh, one eighty S. Okay, continue talking about it, like talk about the design, talk about what it is, like, just talk about it while I pan it here. Alright, uh, well, um, I guess I'll have to pen mine as well, so how do you I? There we go. So, you know, I decided, you know, red and gold, because, you know, that sexiness, fucking gotta rep Falcon, Falcon tires all the way, fucking mm -hmm. drift taker. Um... I did a bigger rim in the back than front, you know, got to make that cambered life, that ricer life, and yeah, I just bombed it with stars, because, you know, I'm a big star. Hmm. And now on to yours. Alrighty. Um, so... Oh, yours is an infinity. Yeah, so mine's the infinity. Uh, do you know the actual name of it? Cause I'm a terrible car guy. <laughs> and my brain's broken right now. It's like the infinity... It's on the side of your car. It is? Oh, the uh, S30T. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot. Uh, okay, so... Well, I'll just delete that. So, I am driving the Infinity S30... Or 3.0T... Jesus Christ, my brain is actually broken right now. Um, so with my car, I went with a generic kind of more racing design for the actual livery. Um, I went, I decided to make the body a lot bigger. Because uh, if you were to look at it normally, the back wheels and front wheels kind of, uh, and the side skirt would, are a lot larger. So it's also a nice style. Um, I didn't camber much of the wheels because it actually made the car look flat. I don't want to say flat. It made it look ugly. It made it look flat and ugly. Of course, you got to have the carbon fiber hood. The carbon fiber hood adds 10 extra horsepower. Um, other than that, I did with a little design here on top. If you were to look on the top of the roof, I'm actually pretty proud because uh, I have it coming out blue. Goes to white when it hits the black back here and then back to blue. It's pretty cool. My uh, color scheme was the white, black, and blue. Thought it looked really nice. And other than that, yeah. That's pretty much my car. Oh, and I used the stock uh, rims because they're beautiful for one. And uh, for two, I can't get any other rims. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Nice. Pretty beautiful. Oh, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate your car? Hold on. Before you say anything, let me find my pen and paper.
So my my visual of saying it. So yeah. you want my opinion on my own car? Okay, so my opinion on my own car. For style um, and stuff. For style, I'd at least give it like a. Or for look, I guess. Seven for style and look and appearance. I'd give it a seven. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you really like and some things that you wish you could change? Uh, like one one thing you I wish you make... could change kind of deal? The one thing I wish I could change is making these stars look more kind of professional instead of just blotched on there. Okay. And something you really uh, like about the car? Um, the gold on red. I fucking love it. Okay, cool. Um, now, I would give it... I think you're pretty dead on with the 7 out of 10. Uh, so every category is going to be out of 10. So 7 out of 10 is a good... I, I think that's good. Um, if there was one thing that I would change would be actually your front windshield. I mean, I get you're going for like the blacked out look and whatnot, but I find that... I find it kind of like the black on white on gold kind of kind of takes away from it. If you could have, I would have done red, like black on red on gold, something like that. Um, and something that I really love is actually the vented roof. Um, if you actually look at it directly from the front at like child's eye view, it's like some of the stars. Oh, oh well. When I was panning, I seen it at least. Maybe I was lower or a little higher than that. Oh, well. Either way, though, it looked like some of the stars were matching up. Not only that, I always I always love vented roofs. They always look beautiful. So, yeah. Now, over to my car, I guess. Yep. Okay. Um, so personally... Hmm? So, how would you personally rate your car? Uh, personally, I would probably give it a... Hmm... I'd give it myself probably a 7.5 out of 10, um, mostly because I really love uh, the look of it. Just it feels really bland uh, in certain areas, I find. But I didn't want to put too much and hate it, right? Yeah. Um, uh, one, one thing you change. One thing I'd change is. Um, is honestly probably if I if I could um I probably would have uh if you notice this line thing I kind of went with like this sound wave idea I was originally trying to do a crystal thing but it didn't look that nice but if I could have figured out a way to do the crystal I would have preferred to done that like that's the one thing I would definitely change yeah yeah uh, one thing I really like, though, is, of course, carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber hood. I probably broke everyone's ears with that. Okay, your turn. Um, well, I'd rate your car a straight fucking eight. It's a beauty. Fucking love the look. I love the simple. Like, I love how kind of simple it is with that blue like look at that blue that's a nice ass fucking blue on the sides blue. i like the blue on black on white and i like the body shape this actually makes me kind of want to buy one of these cars now and use one mm -hmm. and of course carbon fiber carbon one thing fiber i would probably change is the front uh, canards. I don't like front canards at all. Front canards? They're not my... Uh, oh, I yeah, see what you're saying. The, the split. I like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's just my own personal taste. And I don't know why, but this back... Like, the rear fenders will look a little bit off how they are. The rear fenders? Like... Yeah, it just adds too much, uh, like, with the cuts, it adds too oh, okay. much to the back end. Mm -hmm. Like, I, for, like, my personality, I like smooth cars, like, not too many pointy edges, and that just looks super pointy. For sure. 
So, on to the next challenge? Yeah, right on. So, uh, our next challenge um, will be the ability on road. So, on streets like this. So, what we're going to do is we'll do just a little short track. We'll get three turns to go. Um, and whoever, like, it'll be like a circle track starting from this stop sign. Ooh. So, starting from this stop sign, pretty much you come down this way. It'll be drifting because these are drift cars, of course. Actually, let's start from this stop sign. Uh, no, start from the other one, so then you drift around this way. It's pretty much going to be a loop. Then you come straight. I mean, you know, uh, to show off its speed kind of deal. And then uh, whatever it says at that speed, there. yeah, speed trap. Then you drift this corner, and then you drift into the parking lot. Uh, drift around the parking lot here. Do a few donuts, do what you need to do. Weave in and through, and then come back to the stop sign. Just to get an idea of how the car goes. Uh, who do you want to go first? So, Donovan, um, you're sitting at a 7. I'm sitting at a 7.5. Uh, uh, for style? Well, that's just for overall right now, so if you want to, you can go All first. Right. Alrighty, whenever you're ready to go. You can take one more try if you want, or if you're satisfied with that, you can keep it at that. What are you doing? I'm going to do one more try, but I'm changing the drifting uh, settings. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Camera's on.
Alrighty. Okay, oh. do you want another run at it or are you comfortable with that one? I think I could hit it. Hit okay. it again? For sure. jump thank you for joining me here today uh, I had a lot of fun making this video uh, if it wasn't for share factory and PlayStation 4 I would not have this opportunity to do this I really love share factory it's a good way to edit your videos I just thought I would share that because hopefully I'll be able to use it a little bit more to create more edited videos for you guys so it's not so long in uh, live action I also want to thank Donovan for joining me here today he was really fun to play with um, Go watch his stuff as well. There will also be a part two to this video, just like Donovan. I believe he's doing a part one and part two. Uh, but as I was saying, there will be a part two to this video. Uh, you're just seeing the first part here. Hopefully I'll be able to release the next part next week or sometime soon. I don't know when. But other than that, forever and always. And in case I don't see ya, bye! <clears throat>